Ladies. All righty. Well, Jimmy Kimmel is keeping his spot on late night, at least for another three years. The comedian signed a new three season contract with ABC. Now it will take him through his 20th season as host of Jimmy Kimmel Live. The longtime Las Vegan is already one of the longest tenured hosts in late night TV. He opened up his comedy club also on the strip earlier this month as well. So he's got a lot going on. And uh, John Castellamides from the Las Vegas Review Journal is here to chat about a number of topics. Uh, topics. We didn't pick Jimmy, but interesting news, though, that he re-signed for three yeah, years. Yeah, that's big news for uh, us here in Las Vegas because Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club has just opened, as we have mm -hmm. been talking about and I've been reporting, and he has been, uh, planned to um, air the comics from the club on the talk show, really? on the late night show. So, so that's a big deal because he was up for, um, his contract had expired at the end of this year and I was wondering what is going to happen with the club and that plan if he didn't right. re-sign. So three more years of that. Very good news for the club. That's, a, that's actually a significant thing outside just the TV show. So when he has the show going and then mm -hmm. he has, a, say, he's going to have a comedian on, they'll Our comedian be guest, at, at they'll Las They'll cut Vegas. to a set at, at Kimmel's Club. Okay. Yeah. Free promo so for Las Vegas, that's right? A very, it's a great thing for his show. It's a great thing for the Link Promenade where it is. And it's a great thing for comics because mm -hmm. they're on on the show and usually you promote that you've been on Jimmy Kimmel's show now they're gonna right. be right on it at the time so yeah. anyway well I can tell you that it's a all right well here is some video of Santana this is from you, uh, yesterday, yesterday right mm -hmm. uh, tell me what's going on he's back he's just he keeps coming back and we love it yeah he's got new music once more Carlos Santana and that's Buica the Spanish singer a world singer but she's uh, from uh, Spain or, uh, for these purposes Carlos has released an album called Africa Speaks which as the title indicates is uh, themed and inspired by African rhythms and things and uh, it's great. We oh, no. listened to three songs yesterday. I have the CD. This is actually a great release. Yeah. Carlos Santana is hyper creative all the time, and all of his new music is great. He explores uh, new uh, cultures all the time, and they're going to be playing four of the songs tonight, at least uh, with her in the residency return on stage tonight. And they're going to be sampling it uh, throughout the rest of the residency. They just added dates in September, October, and November for the residency. And uh, also, he talked about being at Woodstock 50. Oh boy. He's going to be uh, fulfilling his commitment there. Even know that cool. festival is, has been somewhat beleaguered. Yeah. The investors have been having a problem. So he's going to fulfill all of his commitments. And it's a, a big summer and fall for Carlos Santana. Yeah, really great. Mm -hmm. Great to have him back. And I love that he's always changing it up, you know? Yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. keeps, keeps the interest. Never still. Well, a lot of changes coming uh, to the SLS when it comes to entertainment. Possibly, you were saying in reporting in your column that Magic Mike could be moving from the Hard Rock to SLS. We've got a live picture there's, here. There's a lot of discussion. And I was at the, at the uh, SLS this weekend, and there was um, an indication at the time on Sunday, I was there to see Esther Goldberg's Totally Outrageous Brunch, which has been extended through October, about what's going to happen at the Hard Rock Hotel. Keep an eye on Magic Mike. I'm not ready to verify that it will move, but Hard Rock is going to be sh shutting down mm -hmm. as it turns over to Virgin uh, Hotels Las Vegas next year, and that will affect the stage show that they have there, and that's Magic Mike, and it's a very coveted title, and SLS is trying to up its entertainment game. Mm -hmm. Look for Blanc de Blanc, a show called, uh, uh, it's an adult circus show to go into Foundry okay. this summer also, and and some more titles in there, but um, SLS is going to be a player. They're going to do everything they can to be a player in entertainment in Las Vegas this yeah. year. I love that it's it's everyone kept talking. It's going to close. It's going to close. I actually live near there, and so I, I'm glad <laughs> so that I. it's open. Yeah, uh -huh. because it makes that corner really vibrant. You have to wait for if you're the SLS and Alex Marilla, who now owns the hotel. You have to wait for the tide to come in. That's the uh, convention center expansion. Yes. It's it's the Drew. It's Resorts World, and and if you can hang in there and develop uh, and prepare for that convention business and that uh, mm -hmm. tourism business, you're going to be in a good spot. But it's it's been a long haul, as yeah. you know. It's been a, a, quite a ride for the SLS. And, it's going to change its name this year, too. All right. Well, we've got uh, one minute, so I want to talk EDC and Janet Jackson. EDC um, is coming up this weekend. Anything new we should know about? What they're going to, uh, there's something called uh, Downtown EDC that's going to be a replicated oh. downtown that's near Camp EDC, which is in its second year. So there's going to be a lot of on site uh, amenities that are newer this year. I interviewed Pasquale Rotella, the founder, and expect that this festival be, will be expanded over time. I don't know if it'll be next year or the year after, expanded. but it, it's already expanded. It's expanded to four <laughs> or five days. Oh, okay. The length of it. Got I don't it. think that, I don't know if they can expand outside the, for the footprint that they have, but they're going to make it longer because they, they have a lot going on out there. And Pascal was saying, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot to do in just three days. We sure. might as well go for, for the Thursday before and expand out to Sunday. So watch for that. Next year is its 10th okay. year in Las Vegas. I think, uh, uh, you know, they'll come. They'll come for I'll be out sure. there raving. All right, you always are. You can read more in the column about that. Real quick, Janet Jackson kicks off Friday, right? Friday night, Metamorphosis, the latest uh, resident headliner at the Park Theater. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. She added shows, too, so that's Yeah, she cool. did. Yeah, there's 
Mm -hmm. She did add chills. That's a fact. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. Um, you can read more in Katz's column, always in the Review Journal. It's called Cats. Cats. And he's got the podcasts too, if you want to listen. <laughs> Stay with us. We're back after this.